look how massive this sandwich is. Should I just pick this up, guys? Just yeah, one like this? Sure. Just pick it up yes. like this? I'm getting in the stance. I'm widening the legs right now. <laughs> you see what's happening? <laughs> that is delicious. <laughs> Hey guys, Greg Hudson here, host of America's Best Restaurants with a very special episode for you today. We're in Pulaski County for the Pork Tenderloin Challenge at one Eye Jacks. They're gonna try to take down over five pounds of pork tenderloin. Mickey Sudo is here, Nick Weary, they're the power couple of competitive eating. Governor Holcomb is even gonna take part and check this out. We've got the Indianapolis Colts cheerleaders here. They're gonna try to take down the Pork Tenderloin Challenge. It's all happening right now on this episode of America's Best Restaurants. just wrapped up. I'm here with Kylie and Caitlin of the Indianapolis Colts cheerleading squad. I'm proud of you two, man. Thank you. We are very proud of ourselves. I think we did a good job. You did a fantastic job. Now Thank you. Mind, everyone. Five pounds of tenderloin, two pounds of tater tots. Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. You know, Nick, you did all right, but I'm proud of you two ladies. Thank you. And don't forget the greens and the sides. Did he, did he crush those two? I think he did. he did. Are you kidding me? I didn't start putting tender or uh, tater tots in. It was like a salad bowl. <laughs> a little salad wrap. Smart. <laughs> He made tater tot lettuce wraps. Yes, yes. It's going to be on the menu next <laughs> week at One Eye Jacks. It's going to be on the menu now. I made that up. I don't know. But it could be. It should be. It should be. Now, I do want to say, you two had the best entertainment value. Oh, thank you. So it's not just eating, in my opinion. There are a lot of people here. you got to entertain the masses. Absolutely. I saw you getting ready to like toss out tater tots. Right. We were prepared to share, I think, is the is the right word. Right. And I mean, we're, we're here to entertain and have some fun. And I mean, when smiley it's faces the on the bun. Yeah. Pull up for the camera. Let's we see would this. love to. We have some smiley faces friends. here. We made several so, friends. It's Kylie, been a great time. Yeah, Kylie and Caitlin, winners in my book. And by the way, thank you. Uh, we're from Cincinnati, but I'm a major Colts fan too. Thank you. It's you know the Colts are like the Bengals, like you like seeing them do well. Yes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So we're just next door. Congratulations, ladies! Thank Great you. job. Thank you. Let's hear it for the Colts cheerleaders. They did a pretty good Thank job, you. right, guys? on a big day up there. Mickey. Thank you so much. This was a little unexpected. I only came here to do the nine pound challenge, but we decided to double it. I so saw that. I kind of got caught off guard. Your stack of pork tenderloin <laughs> looked a little bit higher than everybody else's. So that wasn't just my eyes deceiving no, me. No, no, no. I, yeah. That was, uh, that was the biggest pork tenderloin sandwich ever consumed. Uh, at least one up when I did. Thank you so much for having me. Again. I totally believe it. I also love that you travel around and you keep the title with you. It's like I mean, the champion. It's here. Otherwise, especially when I'm like with other competitive eaters, they think I'm like the girlfriend or the secretary, <laughs> or I'm like the manager or something. How many? I don't know how many times that's happened with Joey Chestnut, but Why? if I'm around him without the belt, people think I'm like a groupie. So you got well, yeah. I mean, because you're shredded, you know, you're in shape. You don't look like you're gonna take down 12 pounds of tenderloin. Uh, especially now, that was just 12 pounds of the pork tenderloin itself. Then you had two pounds of tots. Then you had the bun, which was a pound. So this was a over a 15 pound challenge. That was just that was more breaded deep fried pork than uh, I plan to eat. And I know you do that. this professionally, but that has to be up there with one of the most amounts of food you've ever taken down. Yeah, I, I mean, if this is any indication, <laughs> but let's, no, just, let's just crop this and like, let's just air from here You're up. fine, you're fine. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, we eat all sorts of different food on the circuit, but you know, we have very few fried foods actually. And oh, that has really? A, yeah, that's, that's interesting. It's kind of like a challenge in its own because once the oil starts to set in, in your stomach, it's not as easy to keep eating. Very, very true. And I saw you went with a carbonated beverage this time instead of just water. Does that, does yeah. that help you like burp it up a little bit? Oh, or yeah, what's that I, for? I had to switch it up. And also I think the taste helped break uh, break the monotony. Oh, that, bread, I mean, bread, yeah, bread, yeah, bread, even bread, the most bread. delicious food start to feel very repetitive after 42 minutes or whatever that was. Well, um, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, for wings, I had chocolate milk to, to break the, uh, the acidity and the spice. Here was water and Diet Coke. Um, I don't know. Got it done. What was it? 41 minutes? 
I think uh, just under 42, something My like that. My goodness. But, well, um, well yeah. congratulations. We're going to let you go. I know your husband and child are waiting on you. And <laughs> just, I enough. don't even know how you get this Thank done, you so but you much. did an awesome job. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much for taking, taking some time. Of course. <laughs>the competition i'm hanging out with jenny the owner of one eye jacks now we're actually in the restaurant bar itself now yes and uh do you guys have a good time today at the, at the competition or what man <laughs> everybody came over to party at the bar afterwards man there's a party here so <laughs> a couple of things who in the heck came up with that the, the challenge itself yeah we did just working one night we were sitting here with a bunch of locals and uh Eating the tenderloin, man versus food was our favorite TV show back in the day. And, sure. Uh, we've actually gone on, when we take trips, we'll look up, there's a man versus food episode at one of the locations we're going through. I do through. that stuff too. We stop in and, you know, dabble in. Like, we've never tried to eat a challenge, but, um, so we decided with the tenderloin, because that's why, you know, everybody comes here for the tenderloin. We started this challenge with just some locals. Brad Kahn, our marketing manager, mm -hmm. put up some shots on Facebook that went viral about five years ago. Then we had people just coming in ever since for it. It's Man, just grown. it just took off. When you guys contacted us about doing yeah. a show, then it's, well, let's add this into it. And started reaching oh out gosh. to some contacts. And Mickey and Nick are well, on board. The governor's on board. That's so. what I wanted to ask you. I mean, because I can tell this is a tight knit community. You could tell by how many people came out to support you guys today. But not only that, it's not just the community. I mean, you had Colts cheerleaders here. The damn governor was here today in the competition. You had um, some WNBA players here. And then the power couple of competitive eating, Mickey and Nick are here. So mm -hmm. whatever you've done to make this a thing has clearly taken off, not just locally, but on a much, much right. bigger scale. Yep. And starting next year, we should be doing this as an annual oh, yeah. event. Well, you just, you answered my next question. Today was so successful. Like if that's just year one and those are the people that you're starting with, uh -huh. I can't imagine it taking our, off next year. Let's show everybody what can happen and get them all in here. And That's incredible. Well, listen, if I think I couldn't take part of that competition, no way. I, it would, but I will try today, I think, just like... A, you know, regular pork tenderloins. Oh, we look. happen to have one right here for you. No, no, I, I said I'm not in the competition. No, this is the original sandwich on the menu that we sell about 400 a week of. It gets served like this? Yep. Usually it comes with fries or tots. We were just <laughs> slowing down for you because you've had a big day. Yeah, yeah. And, and I want you to think about something. You see how massive this thing is, right? Look how massive the sandwich is. So, Nick had how many of these pork tenderloins? Four. Four of these piled up on the bun, plus two pounds of tater tots. And then nine Mickey- Nine minutes and nine seconds. But then Mickey had how, how many of those? So, Mickey didn't want Nick to show her up. So, we talked about earlier today, and we piled hers eight high. Eight high of those. So she ate about 14 total pounds there in that competition. I'm like, I'm like starting to sweat looking at one of these things. <laughs> and so if you come to one eye jacks, this is how it gets served, I guess, right? I can eat that. You, can Real, you want me to cut it in half? We'll taste it together. You go ahead. I don't want I to interfere trying. in your first I was trying. one eye jacks tenderloin. So and this is the jack sauce, right? Mm-hmm. Do I, do I, should I just dunk it? Should I pour it over top? What do you do here? You, uh, so when I eat a tenderloin, I cut around the bun. Okay. Pick up and eat the sandwich first, <laughs> okay. and then I dip the sides in the sauce. It's all, yeah, so you get like a little pork tender nuggets, uh -huh. little nuggets you dip in. We actually have a menu item called Tenderloin Bites for those who don't want quite so much to eat. Well, I, I can appreciate the way that you do it, but because we're doing this for television, I think I think I ought to pick this. Should I just pick this up, guys? Yeah, just one like this? Sure. Just pick it up yes. like this. <laughs> Put some sauce. You know what? I'm just gonna put some sauce all over you it. You do it however you want to do it. Just gonna dump a little jack sauce on there. Look at this. Should I grab some napkins? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting in the stance. I'm widening the legs right now. You see what's happening? Jeez. Things like. How in the heck did he eat five and she <laughs> eat eight? What? She ate nine? How many chips? She had eight. He had four. What? God, come on. <laughs> Did we really watch that happen? Because this is... 
That is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Thank you. Oh. Settle down, you are mm. not in a race. That's delicious. Thank and you. I, you know what I think adds to this is the way that you guys prepare because you guys are hand cutting these every day. How's that? Yes. Let's take the process of the tenderloin. We get the IBP whole slabs of pork loins in. You open them up. You cut. We cut the ends off for our pork chops, and the rest goes into tenderloins. It's twelve ounces of pork. Twelve for every ounces tenderloin. of pork. Jeez. Uh, we cut it. We take it. We have a cuber take back. Get enough done for in the mornings for each day. Man. That is, fr I mean, you can tell it's fresh. This oh, yeah. is not frozen. They cut these every single Never day. Never frozen. This is incredible. And what about the jack sauce? It's tangy. Um, I can't, I could not tell you what's in it though. One of our cooks over years ago came up with this sauce to go with onion rings and some uh, some sides oh, and then man. it became a big hit. It's fantastic. I mean, do you, yeah, you need to jar that. That's People incredible. would ask, we just haven't took the time to get into that type of licensing yet. That's we make okay. a homemade French dressing that people ask to buy too. Same time. thing. But yeah, but and, and this works so well with this pork tenderloin. Uh -huh. I'm sure it works with a lot of things, but it definitely works for this. Well, where can people find you guys on social media? Because I'm sure after what we witnessed today, there's gonna to be a lot of people yeah. out there trying to get a hold of you. Social media contact, absolutely. Facebook is our main thing. We just got on Instagram. So one eye jacks Winamac. There you go. And our website Look is Look for us, one one eye jacks winamac.com. And come in for the tender loin oh, sandwich. Again, this is this is how it really gets served. This is this is not part of the competition. This is just your boy here having a regular sandwich, and this is what it looks like. So uh, anytime you're in the area, man, you you have got to come in and try this super, super fresh. And I hope we get to come back next year for next year's competition because that was outstanding. I cannot believe that was your first one. Yeah, that one was the little starter. Little starter, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, who knows what we're in store for next year, but I can tell you one thing, America's Best Restaurants will be there. I'm Greg Hudson, we'll see you next time, everybody.